Hello friends, welcome back to Do It New YouTube channel. Uh, today our objective is uh, do the practical in the uh, creasing uh, interpolation techniques. How to create the creasing uh, exploration map? You can just follow me. Uh, I'll be uh, do the complete uh, entire process in the creasing. Uh, some uh, videos I was created before uh, for required the data for these creasing techniques, soil sample data like that. So you can follow my previous video and uh, just uh, continue to do watch this video. So guys, uh, you can see here, uh, this is a fresh environment in the arc map. Just uh, right click on the layer uh, property. Add, uh, we are adding here the soil sample data. Uh, just right click on that and uh, uh, give the landlord position of that data. This is X and this is Y is a lang and lot position. And you can also here the, see the unknown coordination. So you can set here the uh, required your study area coordination. Set OK. And uh, also we are adding here the study area uh, required actually uh, my study area so uh, I am also add here the study area so uh, guys uh, we are uh, our focus is here the geostatistical analysis method creasing uh, techniques we are using here you can see here the this is a geostatistical wizard creasing how to come that just right click on this menu portions you can see here the geostatistical analysis just click on that come to this uh, geostatistical uh, wizard uh, icon just click on that and uh, you can see here the this is a uh, uh, my field spec for soil sample data result just right click and uh, just show you uh, i can show you the detail the you can see here the sample number point x y coordination nitrogen phosphorus ph nitrogen potassium like that so uh, kind your information just open this table uh, so you can easily understand to how to add the creasing uh, uh, techniques to all the, this data just uh, uh, aware about that you can see this is a we first we are creating this uh, first uh, geostatistical method we can just choose here the creasing and co creasing uh, interpolation techniques just click on that and you can see here the this is a soil sample you can see here the soil sample data this is a ph and uh, this one is a just i remove my photo to distracting you so you can see here this is a file name of the field fs for soil sample result you can see and uh, uh, we are adding here the some serial number point so first uh, our objective is the data set we are setting uh, set the data set of the ph you can see here this is our result by using uh, field spec for device uh, you, you can how to create this result you can see my previous video you got uh, entire process to how i do that yes we drag down that file just extracting this one so uh, we choose here the creasing co creasing uh, geostatistical methods so and uh, Increasing is the interpolation that can be extract the smoothing uh, depending on the measurement error model. So just click on the next. We focus here. We just choose here the pH and uh, go to the next. You can see here the creasing type. So what types creasing interpolation uh, soil sample data you want to represent your data in the one of methods. So so output surface uh, types. How do you predict that? You can see here the uh, first we go with the ordinary and uh, the prediction uh, prediction uh, just choose the output uh, surface types and uh, do not uh, change in that uh, transformation types in order to trade or removal just click on the next you can see here the predicted map increasing technique predicted map uh, just uh, model band and average uh, your result uh, data result this is a uh, semi variogram map you can uh, look that uh, value and weight is coming here so uh, also you can have the option the covariance of that map are creating here so we go with the first tutorial semi uh, variogram semi variogram so uh, guys some people are thinking how to copy that uh, uh, semi variogram graph just right click on that uh, and you can see here just copy and paste uh, anywhere to outside of the, these applications 
so uh, just uh, next click on the next button uh, do not change in the value of the because of the we general optimize the semi variogram model uh, nuggets stand in enable calculation nerds so not required that that to and that to change as your requirement you can do that just click on the next button and uh, this is a predicted map actually uh, you can see here this is a various uh, like a soil sample uh, you collecting by the ground location so you just predicted and uh, here is having the sector for sector with the 45 degree offside you can also create the 8 side uh, degree and just you can see here the choose the soil sample point and uh, predicted value of you can look here so also um, both locations value are also changing so xy prediction value is also changing copy variogram is true so uh, just we um, so now uh, just continue with uh, you can uh, do this this standard this is smooth suppose your study area like that and you can just uh, also add here the smoothing options and neighborhood types but i request to you uh, you can also go with the standard and uh, how to uh, crop that uh, entire study area i'll be show you and uh, just click on the next and the uh, geostatistical uh, wizard uh, creating types of five out uh, of five cross validations uh, you got the result and entire process you can see here the predicted map uh, error map standard error any normal qq plot you can see here uh, how you also copy this uh, graph in outside of this just copy and paste word in another uh, location so uh, here the your ph result uh, we are collecting here you can see here the soil sample is 100 mean uh, of that uh, result root mean square error uh, uh, mean standardizations root mean square standardizations and then average standard error so uh, complete your uh, complete your result is coming here also you can export that result uh, file to excel uh, uh, some geo, geo database feature class so you can export that so uh, our practical creating uh, wizard is finished just click on the ok uh, finish and you can see here the what method uh, just the entire uh, data set chart uh, are creating here for the your information uh, what data set are you using this is a fs for soil sample data then types feature class data set field ph record how many records 100 method uh, what method we are using here the creasing uh, what types of method we are using here the ordinary predictions output types uh, how we want to how we want predictions uh, trend types and all uh, details are small to uh, we are choosing for for creating this result so you can uh, just uh, save that data on particular location so click on that and save that data on the particular location so and just uh, we are uh, click click here you can see here we got the result of the creasing technique but uh, my study area is uh, different and uh, uh, I got the result is different so what I do at that time very simple guys uh, you can see here uh, this is a our soil sample point and this is our study area so we are top of extracting just drag and drop that outside we just no color outside select the border color okay so you can easily understand that some portions are going the outside of the freezing result so at this time just right click on the creasing result right click and uh, go to the property and uh, you can see here the general source and display and extend so we go uh, you can choose the extent click here and uh, you can choose here the this uh, aroma district uh, uh, set uh, to extend that uh, creasing result you can see here that is extended so guys uh, but uh, question is that here we need only this selected study area portion so very easy uh, just right click on this your result and uh, choose the data and export uh, to the raster just right click on the creasing uh, result and uh, export that uh, data export to raster
uh, you can see here uh, just you can see here the uh, you are increasing your statistic statistical result uh, input uh, data files we are uh, by default giving here output uh, surface raster we are just uh, uh, location uh, we want to save that file on a particular location so select the directory we are choosing here the directory of where i am saving that go to the app into practical for the youtube okay and create here the one folder creating result that open and add here the file name ph okay just click on ok and do not uh, change the output cell size and number of the point uh, in the sales and not required to modify in these uh, details just uh, click ok wait a couple of seconds and do uh, complete the result we got just right click on that file uh, here we just create the mask go to the search select the tool just click on this open and uh, choose input our ph current result and uh, what mass study area this is our shape file study area and uh, save that output on the particular location you can see here they created the mask just go to the table just uncheck this ph so finally we got the result like this you can see here the uh, ph uh, having the various attribute to just right click on that and uh, go to the symbology and uh, here is having the label to give the options of that label is a high uh, portion, it is low portion, reduce the classes, suppose we are reducing here the only 5 class, just apply, you can see here the changes on that and uh, also change the color scale, serenity of that uh, ground, so green to red, red to green then uh, we are choose this one like this uh, you can also add the label of this value you can see here this is a label just add here the some label value high medium high medium medium high and uh, low so just apply and uh, change all these details so you can see here just apply ok and you can see here the change all details mm, just click on ok and uh, you, you got the result of the soil serenity of like this so you also create the uh, graph of these files just layout view and uh, soil organic matter not uh, this is a uh, just delete this one yes imp import legend ph Back, not required a study area, not required soil sample, not required soil organic matter. Choose select, give here the soil pH. Next, select here the border, background color. Click on the next, select, choose this one. Finish. You can see here the legend properties are coming here. Uh, what exact condition of the ground you can see here this is a value not required just click here just delete remove that value suppose 2 ph 2 ph is coming right click property sorry double click 
just uncheck this show okay this so the finally we got the proper scale of this so like this you can create your uh, cringing uh, 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 your statistical analysis and uh, uh, tools methodologies you can use and create the like this graph and also the uh, visualize your data on the neighborhood so guys uh, almost our uh, uh, objectives are covered so we are just exporting this file just go to the file and uh, select the export map click and save the particular location this map and use the your study and your work so like this so guys uh, we are stopping here uh, before uh, we conclude this tutorial so i request you guys uh, do not forget to share and subscribe my youtube channel we call it do it noon also press the bell icon so i continuously give you the updation about this tutorial or various technology update so thank you guys we will meet on the next tutorial bye bye see you